Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new and just coming to see what we pack in our beach bag, I'm Jessica. So welcome, we do vlogs, we do sit down videos and challenges. We haven't done a bunch of sit down or challenges lately, but we are getting back into that. So let me know if you have any requests for any of those videos. And I also have a craft channel. So if you're into crafty things or card making, um, planning, I will have that linked below for you guys as well. But today we are talking about what we pack in our beach bag. And I decided to film this because we actually went to the beach today and we go often during the summer. So I thought maybe it would just be fun for you to see what we pack and maybe it'll help you guys out. So you might see my kid or my dog running around. Sorry if that's distracting, hopefully not. <laughs> so first of all, I just used this really cheap bag here that I got from Old Navy, I think. Not too sure, but it's not something special. Uh, no, I got it from Target, actually. Um, I do like that it's kind of like mesh and see-through just because it's super lightweight and I don't really care if it gets dirty. It does only have one pocket on the outside here and it has like a little pouch inside. Um, so on the outside, what I pack, I pack some sunscreen, 50 SPF some tissues. I always have my keys and cell phone in this pack here. Um, sunglasses. And then I have hand sanitizer. And I have a little pouch with change in it. Just because sometimes when we go to different parks or beaches, you know, there might be a vending machine and we want snacks or on the way home we want ice cream. It's just really handy to have some change there. So then in the main part, and this is actually like everything we use today. So I just kept it right in here. I bring my little craft tote here because I do often do some crafting while we are at the beach while Alistair is playing. If you want to see what's in this bag, I'll have a video linked for you guys. But all my crafty goodness. We always have a couple towels. Um, I bring my little wallet. I don't bring my entire purse just because it's too much and I don't really need that. I just make sure to have cash in here, my cards, and you know, my driver's license, things like that. The doggy's barking. I always have our insulated lunch pack here, super sandy. And this is nice because I can just put an ice pack in here. And I always have, let's see, we did eat most of the food that's in here today. But we always have a water bottle and I fill it with ice before we go out. Sometimes I have candy or treats, some trail mix, granola bars, um, pretty much things like that. A lot of times I will pack us a lunch also, but I always make sure to have snacks because we get super hungry when we are out and I don't really want to be spending a fortune on you know fast food options so that's what we do and then I always have some wet wipes just because you know it gets pretty messy sorry for that loud noise I always have a second um, sunscreen I like the spray one but sometimes you know it runs out and so I like to have a backup that's why I have two I always bring a change of clothes for Alistair especially because he is the one that will go in and swim I do not like swimming, but I do normally put a change of clothes for myself in here, depending like where we're going, but I always bring a change of clothes for him. And we always leave the house like in our swim gear. So like I have my bathing suit on today, he had his swim trunks and that way we're just ready to go when we get there. And if we want to change before we leave, then we have our dry clothes to put on. And then I always, I have like a little case here that holds my camera, extra batteries, extra memory cards. And I should get a waterproof one, honestly, I don't have one, but this one is good so far. And then I have a little pack that has mostly my stuff. So I have some, well, well, that was crazy. So I always bring a powder because powder will get sand off of your skin really, really easy. And this, ha this is really nice because I hate sand all over. And I just realized the powder spilled all over in here. I have some suntan lotion that is for your face. I have random makeup in here that I, like in case I want to touch up my makeup. And then I have a lip balm that has SPF in it. Sorry, the dogs. And just some different makeup. And I have some Neosporin, some Band-Aids, and I have some Advil. 
And that is everything that I carry in the bag. But I always bring a second bag, just like a cheap little bag that you find at the grocery store that carries any of Alistair's sand toys. They're just way too dirty to put in our pink bag and our pink bag is super full as it is. So I bring those two bags and that is totally, like it's okay for me to carry because Alistair can't really carry those, they're too heavy. But we've even gone to beaches where we have to like walk a pretty long trail and I know that might seem like a lot of stuff that we bring but two bags is totally fine to carry and it's like everything that we possibly need. I'm sure that some people might think that we're overpacking but I promise you I've had people like borrow stuff from me before and I would totally rather be like over prepared than be stuck at the beach and be like uh we have to go home now because we don't have this or that and I don't always use my crafty stuff it totally depends oh my dogs bean stop it anyways but Yes, it just depends. If we are at the beach for like four hours, I will probably use it just because, I don't know, I want something to entertain me. I don't like swimming, but I always keep my eyes real close on Alistair, so it works out good. So yeah, that's everything that we pack in our beach bag. If there is something that you think is an essential that I did not pack, let me know in the comments below. Let us know what you pack differently. And I think that's all. Um, again, if you have any requests for videos, let me know. And I hope you guys will subscribe for more videos. And we will see you later.